undefeated head coach in home openers during his career, Lavelle Moten, as the Eagles win it tonight, 109 to 46. Coach, again, congratulations. You're now 4 0 in home openers here at NCCU. And, and again, winning is something that you can never take uh, for granted, and you've done that in your home opener since you've taken over here. Uh, you threw us, you continue to amaze me with stats. I, I take that. I, I was feeling, you know, kind of kind of depressed a little bit, but you, you just picked me up. That's so, <laughs> you know, ha hats off to, you know, um, our squad. They just came up and, and they answered the bell. Um, I'm always concerned about us playing in front of our home crowd. We have seven newcomers and, and they don't know what it's like. You know, we, we go from a hostile environment. Well, this this environment can be even more difficult because now you're playing in front of your home fans and you have a tendency to kind of be cool and try to impress you know your friends in the stands and your family in the stands instead of just focusing and, and, and locking in on what you have to do in your assignments and you know for the most part uh, we did that we locked in and, and, and we jumped on them early and um, you know we answered the bell. Yeah you look and I, I asked Jameer about this you combine your two starting your two point guards Hooby and Jameer 12 assists two turnovers. Uh, they were great. Uh, Jameer in particular, you know, he was tremendous. 14, 8, and 8, you know, those are Ray John Rondo type numbers. Um, but he still has some left. You know, that's not his best effort, and that's what we recruited him for. He's quick as a cat, but now he just has to learn how to manage a game and how to execute um, assignment basketball down the stretch. Yeah, and then you forgot to mention also a combined 10 steals. He had eight of them, nearly got a school record, uh, nearly tied your guys, Jimmy Boston's school record that you played with here at NCCU. So, again, uh, he had a great night tonight. And then you you had 13 players score, four in double, five in double figures. I mean, this is what you were looking for when you brought in those newcomers. You wanted guys to come in and, and make a difference immediately, but it seems like your spark plug off the bench just seemed uh, early on to really set the tone for us yeah it is um, you know we're not going to have a superstar we certainly em embrace that we, we accept that we understand Dominique Sutton is not out here the bell is out anymore so we have to rebound by committee we have to score by committee uh, everything has to be a collective effort and the guys did a wonderful job in doing that tonight 33 turnovers forced only 11 turnovers for you and again you have a, a 12 turnover uh, where, where they that's that's all they get um, 26 assists again you just this is a game for you to work on what you needed to work on get some kinks out and like you said get that experience uh, what else did you learn about your team here tonight well I learned we got a long way to go uh, we missed too many assignments offensively and defensively and that comes with the newcomers and you know I, some coaches around you know the America just told me be patient uh, you know it normally takes until January these guys gonna need a semester to understand the vernacular understand the culture here understand they're welcome into uh, division one basketball so anyone that knows me know I'm not a patient man so you know you guys pray for me out there this is just not a patient man's business um, you know I want to win I want to win right away and you know I'm gonna continue to hold these young men accountable until we get everything that we need from them to be uh, successful on the floor. Well, and again, it just shows, again, the, the coaching that, that you put this team through as far as the way you handle and the way you get these guys to focus. I mean, this was a blowout pretty early, and you got you were still coaching as if it was 23-23. Absolutely. Um, you know, I coached down to the – to the last minute because every moment when you have newcomers are teachable moments because they just don't know. You know, they're coming from the high schools or, um, you know, junior college colleges respectfully. And, you know, they have to adjust to the intensity, to the pace, to the speed of Division One basketball. So every moment we kind of utilize that as a teaching moment, whether it's, be, whether it's practice or, you know, game-like situations, you know, so hopefully they can come back and, and that can pay the huge dividends down the stretch for us. Coach, now you get on a plane and you head out to Wyoming for three extremely tough games in, in three days, and this is another chance for you to learn about your team and, and show some Zen master patience as we talked about in the pregame. But it, three tough tests, but last year you, you went to uh, Oregon in this same tournament and, and answered the call going 2-1. and one. Love to see you go 3-0 and oh there. What's it going to take for that to happen? Ooh, uh, we got to re rehydrate ourselves. Um, the schedule is certainly not in our favor as we got to jump on a plane, fly to Wyoming, you know, go through the jet lag, and then play into play in, in, in you know, into the thin air. That's going to be, you know, a really difficult process for our guys playing in that altitude. I wanted a tournament um, parallel to to pretty much that symbolic of uh, the MIAC tournament come March. Um, so we have that atmosphere. 
uh, available for us. And, and we just got to go out there and play a, a great Wyoming team who, you know, upset UNLV last year. Um, and, and they're really good. Larry Shia, that used to be at Clemson, he's there. He's doing an outstanding job. And he's just pretty much taking Billy Donovan's system and ran it at Wyoming. And they're always going to be able to defend and, and you know, uh, limit your solid looks on the offensive end of the floor. So, you know, we're going one at a time, and, you know, they, they look really good on film, you know, so hopefully we can go down there and get an upset. D 14 points, eight assists, eight steals, three rebounds in his second game here at NCCU. Jameer, congratulations on being tonight's A-plus performer. First of all, just talk about the, the overall game and what it was like to get out here in front of the home faith. Uh, it was pretty great, you know. We left uh, Kansas on a bad note, so we, we pretty much wanted to come out here, you know, Get on, get on the right track, get a win, and uh, continue to progress through the season. So well, We certainly did that tonight, dominating tonight's ball game. And you look at the 33 turnovers we forced tonight, you were certainly a part of that. Again, what was Coach Moten's words to y'all before, to this team before the game as, as you got ready to take on Johnson & Wells, a team that, you know, we probably knew we shot, uh, should have beaten tonight pretty easily, but you guys didn't play like that. Uh, he didn't want us to underestimate our, our um, opponents. So basically he wanted us to have a sense of urgency and continue to fight and uh, – Defense, basically, you gotta you gotta pressure the ball. You gotta be willing to uh, make the, t the other team commit turnovers. So, basically, it's just intensity and the sense of urgency. And that really looked like that was your key tonight. And what's what do you feel like tonight? You did well, and what do you think you gotta work on? Uh, pretty much, I gotta work on my execution, continue learning the system, um, putting people in the right spot, being more vocal. Uh, key things that I, I think I did pretty well with uh, was attacking the basket and transition, and. Um, Defense, defense is key. That's one thing that I gotta, I gotta bring every day. So that was pretty much it. That's one thing you, you certainly show that you can do pretty well with eight steals here tonight, and that's something uh, that we'll have to look forward to the rest of the year. Combined point guard play tonight, you and Pooby. They look at like this: twelve turnovers, two assi tw twelve assists, two turnovers. That's that's a pretty good night for a duo of point guards. Yeah, uh, Pooby Chapman is a great point guard. A great combination. So I'm learning from him. He learning from me at the same time. Basically, as a point guard, you don't want to, you don't want to turn the ball over. That's that's the worst thing as a point guard. So it's basically being composed, patient, and um, running the offense. Well, Jameer, congratulations on being named tonight's A-plus performer of the game. We wish you the best of luck as you guys move on to Laramie, Wyoming. If you could, just, again, you guys are having to hop on a plane once again. Talk about just that fact and, and what you guys are going to be challenged with the next three ball games. Uh, we're going to be uh, challenged with a, a tough component. We got three games in a row out there in Wyoming, which is high altitude. So basically, Coach wants us to get, a, um, to get off our feet, rest, hydrate ourselves, and be ready to play. If that's the case, Jameer, congratulations on your great effort tonight, and uh, we wish you the best of luck, and, and we'll be looking forward to seeing you when you come back. Thank you. Appreciate it.